My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can delete one specific file in a folder, how we can delete more files in a folder, and how we can delete all files in a folder. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. So here I created a folder with some random files in. I got two Excel sheets, got some text documents, Word documents, and a PowerPoint presentation. So first we will just try to delete one of these files. Say that we want to delete this particular text document. So we go to UiPath, then we will find a delete. And what we have to do is we, we just have to specify which file we want to delete. This is this one, so shift right click, then we can get the path, copy as path. And then we just uh, we can uh, put it in here in quotation marks like this. Oh, sorry like this and uh, now it will just delete this text document we can see that it's gone let me just copy it from my backup uh, folder here and um, now we want to uh, delete like say all uh, text uh, file text documents like these two guys here that's the text documents so what we'll need here at first that I'll create a variable um, where the path of this folder is in. So I just right click, not shift right click, but right click this time, click properties. And then I'll just copy this file path here. Go down to variables and then we will create a variable called str path. That will be a string, that's fine. And here quotation marks and paste the path in. So now we've got a variable containing our folder path. Like this, we can just uh, minimize it. Then we need a for each. So we will. Uh, what we'll do here is that we will loop through all these files, and then we'll delete uh, the files that are txt documents. Uh, these two guys. So uh, let's find a for each. Drag it in up here. And um, so first, we need to change the type argument to a string, like this. You can change this item to file, it doesn't matter, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, it's more appropriate that it's because it's files than items, but uh, yeah, call it whatever you want. And then we need a VB expression to uh, get these files, and we can do we can do that with directory dot get files here. And then we just need to supply it with a path in parentheses. And we, we remember we created this variable str path, so we'll just uh, type in the uh, str path here, like this, and then it will loop through uh, these uh, this folder um, and get the files. We could also just have typed in the file path in quotation marks. However, I thought this is easier because we might want to reuse the path. So here, let me delete this body sequence. And what we'll do here is just that we just uh, we drag this delete up, we'll reuse it. And instead, in the path, we'll delete it because we already looped through the path. And then we'll just say that we want to delete uh, uh, every file that we find in this path. So now we will delete every file. So, so to not do that, then we will need to change something up here in the get files. And that is we need to specify that we only want to delete, uh, we only want to get files that is txt, so quotation marks, and then an asterisk dot txt, and then the quotation uh, and more. What this does, it searches for all uh, files that ends with txt, and this asterisk doesn't mean anything uh, behind it or in front of this, and then we'll delete everything, every file that we got down here. So let's see if that works. We should uh, only delete the txt documents, remember? So let's try to run this. Run, and uh, we see that it deleted. So let me just uh, drag my backup um, here. So that worked. Now we can try to maybe say that we want to delete txt and Word documents. Then we can just uh, change how we get this file because now we all we want to get the txt and we want to get the docx, which is the Word document files. So let us change the expression again. We can use the dot concate here, and then what this does it just uh, it will union these two. So we will uh, say that the directory. Again, we can use the intelligence get files. 
and then the str path, comma, and then asterisk docx, that's the web documents, and this one should do. So this one will uh, get all the files, that's txt and docs, this, this, this guy does. Then we will uh, loop through them and delete uh, those files. So uh, yeah, let's see if that works. <clears throat> Like this and now we can see that it deleted the word and the text documents so let me copy from my backup folder again now finally we just want to see that we can delete every file in this folder say we needed that then it's just to um, delete everything like we all we, we actually wrote it in the beginning so it will just be directory get files and then from the path this will get every file and then we'll loop through and get and delete them this and now we have deleted everything. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel and have a good day. Bye bye.